Well, let me let me start with this this article here. I'm gonna go into a couple of things. I read this this article here. It says, what day was today? Oh, the twelfth. Oh, so that was Friday. It says, this is from Forbes, Amazon, Google, Duolingo, cut hundreds of jobs. Here are the 2024 tech layoffs. It's like, oh my gosh, what a headline. We're talking about real lives here, you know? Um, and it says hundreds of employees were cut from their from major tech companies this week, including at Amazon, Google, Duolingo, and I had to look up what Duolingo was. Um, but it's, it's a good name. It's a, like a language app, I'm guessing. Not guessing, that's what I looked up. As business businesses look to right size, Oh, their workforces and cut cost. Fo following up, hold on, I got to make sure I'm recording. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Um, following up, where is that word? Following up on a parade of layoffs that dominate the news cycle and led to even steeper cuts and lingering recession fears in 2022 and 2023. All right, let's see what this says. Key facts. Twitch, a live streaming site owned by Amazon. Oh, I didn't know Amazon owned Twitch. Announced plans to, to cut 35% of its staff. Well, somebody was telling me today that I need to get on, um, on Twitch. So I don't know if that's a good thing or bad. Roughly 500, 500 employees. CEO Dan Clancy said in a blog post Wednesday, saying Twitch has work to do to right size. The company calling it meaningfully larger than it needs to be given the size of our business. Hmm. So why'd you hire all these people? So you guys are over hiring? And now you're laying off 35% of your staff? Okay. While Amazon audiobook division Audible also conducted a round of cuts affecting 100 employees. That same day, Amazon, the same day? Hmm. Coincidence? Anyways, Amazon announced plans to cut several hundred employees at its Prime Video and MGM Studio divisions following a review of nearly every aspect of the company's business operations, according to a memo obtained by Forbes from Mike Hopkins, the senior president of Prime Video. Listen, I could tell you about Prime Video. The movies are horrible. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's really what it is. You know, oh, we had to cut. No, the movies are bad. I, I don't know when was the last time I had play on Prime. I think my um, my Prime accidentally. That's when you know it's bad. My Prime logged out, and I never really tried to get my Prime password to log back in. That's how you know it's not the best uh, videos. On Wednesday, this is what I want. Google laid off hundreds. Is that okay? Of employees across several divisions, including its engineering and hardware teams as well as employees developing his voice operated virtual assistant google assistant according to an internal email obtained by the new york times and semaphore google shares price climbed um 2.85 percent language learning app duolingo this week slashed 10 percent of its contract employees it's not immediately clear how many workers this affects as the company pivots towards relying on artificial, oh, okay, intelligence for content generation, you know, ChatGPT to mess people up now. Like it's like, hold on, you know, we don't, we don't necessarily need people anymore. This computer can do it. Multiple outlets reported, though the company said none of its full-time employees would be affected by the layoffs. Shares of Duolingo slumped to 6.5 percent. AI startup Humane said this week it will cut 4% of its workforce. 10 employees? 10? 10? Come on, guys. What are, all, what are you guys writing about this? With company's founder and CEO, Bethany Bert G G Giannaro, writing on LinkedIn, the cuts are part of an initiative that includes some changes to best prepare us for continued growth. Okay. See, Discord, Discord CEO Jason Citron announced this week that the platform will cut 17% of its workforce, roughly 170 employees, to sharpen 
focus and improve the way it works together to bring more agility to the company. Yo, these companies are just, man, they're getting on my nerves. Really are. Video game software developer Unity Software announced a regulatory filing. It will cut one quarter of its staff, roughly 1,800 jobs. It's a lot of people. As part of restructuring plan to position itself for longer term and profitable growth. Yeah, I mean, you drop people, you make more money. Um, let's see how much can I... I'll read this whole thing. I will. While tech companies lean into layoffs this month, the total number of cuts pales in comparison to the number of employees who lost their jobs last January. Oh, okay. Thank you. Online tracker layoffs.fyi found 37 tech companies made... Layoffs so far are far cry from 278 layoffs that cut their headcounts last January. Oh, wow. So we they've been slowly cutting more than 305,000. That's how many employees lost their job in major U.S. layoffs last year. According to Forbes Layoff Tracker, which includes layoffs affecting 100 or more jobs, the biggest of those came in July. When now bankrupt trucking company Yellow laid off all 30,000 of its employees. Preceding Yellow Company were a pack of tech and manufacturing companies announced layoffs, including Amazon, which announced plans in, Janu in January 23 to cut 8,000 employees amid an uncertain economy and laid off another 1,000 workers in November after cutting 10,000 jobs in late 2022. Google parent Alphabet cut another 12,000 in January 2023 due to what CEO Sundar Pichar called tough choices. While Meta and Microsoft each laid off 10,000 positions the same month, Meta cut another 6,000 employees two months later. Banking giant Citigroup announced Friday that it would cut 20,000 employees over the next two years. Oh, okay, well, I'm not applying there. For the next two years, they're just going to be cutting employees. Come on. Is, and you're announcing it now? City group, what, you, what are you guys doing over there? According to a statement from CFO Mark Mason, so you thought this was a good idea, Mark, to announce this? Following a $1.8 billion fourth quarter net loss, the bank's worst quarter in 15 years, City group cuts follow a string of layoffs of major U.S. banks. Um, following investment banking firm Goldman Sachs, which cut 4,000 last year, and J.P. Morgan Chase, which let which let go a thousand employees. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All of this, you know, government money slowed down, and at the end of the day, the banks have won. Um, I'm sorry, I digress. So back to tech. So I'm sitting here just like, okay, it says. One layoff after another layoff after another layoff. And on my other videos, I've been talking about how to get how to land a job in tech. And then we over here, we see layoffs. OK, the one thing about tech um, is that I, I would definitely say that there's some industries that are more volatile. Like while you're in tech, there's some departments that are more kind of at risk. Right. Because what did it say? Some people at Google are Twitch is a new technology, right? Twitch is still figuring it out. It's a new, it's a, it's a pretty new streaming platform. It, it, it got it recently. It sounds like it recently got acquired by Amazon. They're restructuring. Those things are normal. So I definitely would not panic when it comes to that, right? Um, Amazon Video. These are like very new platforms that people are. They're st they're still trying to figure it out because Amazon is coming against Peacock. It's coming against Netflix. It's coming against all of these other streaming platforms. Roku. It's coming against against all of these other streaming and it's competing against these streaming platforms. So so what ends up happening is that a lot of people end up either cutting Amazon uh, because I do I I do still I, I'm starting to have a gripe with the stuff that I'm buying off of Amazon. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I am having a bit of a gripe with the stuff. I'm saying that the stuff that's coming from Amazon is cheap. It is some cheap stuff coming from Amazon. That's my personal opinion. Let's see. Um, but then there's some once in a while, it's like a hit or miss. Once in a while you get something decent and you get something that works well, but for the most point part, um, this stuff that's coming from Amazon is falling apart. Even my lights, 
Um, the lights are working well, but like the stands, the stands are like, I don't know what's going on. They can barely stand. I, I wish I could just, I would just turn this, um, this thing around, but I won't. Uh, but it just tells you, oh, let me see. I got this little thing, a little tripod thing from Amazon, but this actually works pretty well. Um, this is from newer. Um, and then, so there's a lot of things I've sitting, I've probably purchased from Amazon. Oh, look, 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 I got, I got something that like tells your heart rate, right? And then, but look, the back broke, look, the, the back broke off. I think my son touched it a little bit <laughs> and it broke off, but that just gives you the idea. Amazon, fix your stuff. You know what I mean? So then we can, um, you know, fix your stuff. So then maybe we can kind of reduce some of these layoffs. Now, back onto Google here. It says Google laid a people off in relate in relations to their voice operated virtual assistant. I'm just trying to think. What voice operated Google Assistant? Okay, maybe the that's like the equivalent. I have a I have an iPhone. So it might be the equivalent to like Siri on the phones. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, on iPhone, Siri is horrible. Horrible. It doesn't understand what I'm saying. I can be as articulate as possible. It's writing its own sentences. So to tell you the truth, um, I'm not going to say that the engine, I'm not for any layoffs. I'm not saying that the engineers need to be laid off, but I am saying some of them need to be swapped out. All right. <laughs> They're training. <laughs> they must be training Siri on some like people with accents or something like that, because it does not understand any of my, my language. <laughs> uh, right. So I think that's interesting. So I definitely wouldn't fear uh, being too much fear. Um, I'm, I hope the best for the people that were laid off. But at the same time, you know, some of the things I'm telling you is that you have to learn these 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 particular skills. And I'm going to say it over and over again. You got to have a skill. But the one key thing that we need to start developing is our communication. Right. How you can, now you have all these people that are laid off. How are you going to present yourself in, in, a, in an interview? How are you going to present yourself on a resume? What are you going to do differently to kind of stand out? Because there's going to be a lot of people that are probably leaving, um, you know, Google's voice assistant to try to go work for Apple Siri, right? So a lot of people are going to be or trying to work for, what's that um, device, the Alexa, you know, these different things like that. So people are going to be trying to work on these teams because they have familiar familiarity with these technologies so you got to tell yourself like how am i going to stand out um after these layoffs right so number one i hope the best for the folks that are laying off but for the people who are getting laid off what do we do how do you pivot your career you know um so that you you get the right attention at these other at these other companies and i think it's 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 crazy because um these companies are are, are laying off 20,000 people, 10,000 people. So we got to, we got to start swapping it up and switching it up in terms of, um, our careers, you know, in, in terms of tech at one point, everybody's like telling people to go to tech, go to tech. It is, but I, I, I hate the fact that because so many people have flooded it, it's become a bit volatile, right? People are like, Hey, I'm laying off entire teams and entire departments. And um, that's, that's the one reason I've always been hesitant to work for like these large, large tech companies, because when they when they this, they've always been like that, when they lay off, they lay off the entire department, the entire voice app team, the entire team that's working on a special project. And I remember Google is one of these companies that they buy the uh, tons of products. And it was one. What did they? Uh, it was like a Google. I remember there was thing, uh, something called like a Google body. Do you remember that? Like a Google, like an anatomy thing, right? Um, it was like a, yeah, it was like a Google body. You could see like really an, like this anatomy. Then it was, um, there was other thing like a P Picasso. I remember um, Picasso was like a, kind of like a, the beginning early, 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 early Canva, you know? <laughs> um, but look, I, I just went to the website. It says Google has decided to retire Picasso. So if you were hired on that team, and oh, it looks like it says um, it's it's moving to Google Photos. But I remember Picasso being able to edit. Why would they say Google Photos can't edit, right? Oh, but look, uh, can I still use desktop? For those who already downloaded it, it will continue to work as it does today. But we would not, uh, for, we would not develop it further. Okay, well there you go. So you got to be careful when you're on these particular special project teams. 
and when you're on teams that were recently acquired, uh, that's a different conversation in terms of acquisitions and mergers. Um, I have my feelings about it. I won't share all of them right now. But if your company was recently acquired and you're on one of those teams, I'm, I mean, if you've gotten past the initial acquisition point where they remove the when they um, they determine who's redundant, right? Like there's certain roles that are redundant. But then sometimes they they work on that over time and sometimes they work on it when once they once they acquire. So those are all things that you got to watch out for. And